Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. Today we're talking about King's March and the gold and the shipments. Now, I don't typically watch videos from content creators because I feel like they don't represent me, right? The way I play the game is I give it a good fair shake. I play as pretty much as much as I can. I don't really watch too many guides to be efficient. I play one or two builds. I try and min-max them. I complete the Atlas. Um, if I'm feeling spicy, I might do some tier 17s. Maybe if I'm enjoying the league a lot, I might do some challenges. And I would consider myself a super, super hardcore player. Most players aren't even doing that. And when you watch these content creators, when you watch these big streamers, their perception is so warped that I get a bit confused when I watch their videos. <clears throat> The video I just watched was about shipments and quality and it included big popular streamers and we won't name names because that always gets divisive in the comments but big streamers, um, big race winners, all this stuff and they talk about how the shipments have been nerfed, it's not fun, they don't know why they're doing it, it's frustrating etc and I'm here to give like the opposite perspective. When I go to King's March right now, you can see I've I've leveled manually to 98 doing Harbingers. You can see on screen I've ran 148 maps, right? 148 maps to a super hardcore grinder will be nothing. That to a lot of people is a ton of work and effort and maps, right? And I've leveled to 98. I've got very good gear. I personally think I'm not some complete noobatron. We've got the 32% crit multi. We've got the perfect sack walls. We've got a corrupted widow hail, a corrupted poise prism, a socketed reservation crown of eyes, right? I've, I've worked on my gear. I've, I've crafted. I've da da right? I've played a lot of the game. And the way I work the league mechanic is probably how most people work it. They just load in and they figure out what they've got and they send some ships off and everything is just a nice bonus. We're not trying to figure out what exactly is the total best shipment value to send to Ribbon Fell over and over and over again. <clears throat> We're not trying to find out is dust quantitative? <laughs> is it multiplicative? Is it additive? Is it, you know, like, we're just enjoying the game, right? Um, Here's the thing. My town is not done. My, my town is not sitting at tier 10 everyone. If we go to my town and we have a look at kind of what's on screen, right? Um, <clears throat> I'm still at the point where most of my workers are probably, there are a few rank 8, nine and seven that's kind of where i'm at i haven't had a ton of gold to s send off everywhere right i i am just playing the game naturally the gold i get typically goes to sending shipments or doing some upgrades or using it for trade or whatever and i don't enchant millions of tons of dust because frankly it's kind of annoying having to vendor your guy here right um so typically what they'll do is they'll get the shipments They'll get the stuff, they'll vendor it, they'll get all the dust. But to get all the dust, to get all the value, you have to have ranked up your stuff. And it takes time. And people don't want to say that it takes time. But it, it does take time and that's okay. It's a three-month league, right? We're not trying to bust it out immediately and ruin it. Now, last night, I think I chucked 50,000 gold in the coffers. Um, and I haven't played since, and it's now empty. And what we've got is 16k crops, 20k, 8k, 5k, 6k, right? I'm making a lot more wheat, right? I've got some rank 10s, some rank 9s there, etc. And I'm not making as much uh, a blue Zanza, because they're probably not as good, right? And when I come to do this shipment and I send it off, if I go and send everything I've got off, right, this is how much value it's going to be. It's going to be 1.14 million, and it's taken me the entire duration of the league to get to that point. And that was me leaving my guys farming and working for overnight, right? There was enough gold to run it overnight. And if I was to send this shipment, it would then take a long, long time for me to send another one of this value. So when this streamers say things like, I sent off just my standard 1 million value shipment, you know, they're sustainable, <laughs> um, and we run them back and forth, and we're only getting one divine, 
uh, I there was someone that said they sent a 50 million shipment. They sent a 50 million shipment and they only got six divines and two and, and a mirror shard. Well, that's like what 40 divines or some shit. So for most people, what they're doing is they're coming on, they're sending their stuff, right? They're not trying to min max what should go to Ribbonfell, <clears throat> what should go to en Engakanu or whatever it's called, what should go to Kalgur, right? They're coming on and it's just a nice additional bonus. Sometimes they do some recombinators, sometimes it hits, sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes they'll pop some stuff in a map. I've only just got my guys mapping, they're not even red tier maps, right? They're, they're too expensive to run, you have to be on it constantly running the town. So to most people, when they hear things like, I'm just sending off my sustainable 1 million shipment and this is the loot you get. Maybe I'm out of touch. Maybe I'm the minority now, but I feel like most people ain't doing that. And <clears throat> they're saying, you know, it's it, it's sort of unrewarding. It's not very good. Well, the pro I guess the problem is if these guys are sustaining 1 million shipments easily and some people are sending off 50 million shipments, then if I sign in with my 1 million shipment and I decide to split it into, say, three, I'm sending off three 300k plus shipments, right? And I probably won't get much because it's not very rewarding. However, the flip side is if they do make it very rewarding, those people are going to be sending off so much stuff um, and getting so many divines that the game would kind of balance itself out. So if they buff it up to high heaven... All of a sudden, when I sign in and I send off my million shipment, I get two divines. But they're sending off sustainable one million shipments and they send off ten of them, right? <laughs> I can send off one a day, they can send off ten or whatever. Then all of a sudden, they'd be getting ten times the amount. They'd be getting 20 to 40 divines. And all of a sudden, you'd sign in and your divine that you just got would be worth a lot less because everyone's churning out um divines so i don't really have a point to make in this video i'm just trying to say that i just feel like when i watch these videos i just get a sense of like i don't i don't know who they're aiming it at because i feel like the guy that's sustaining one to 50 million shipments already knows what he's doing and the average joe ain't sustaining one million shipments bro and they're just using the system as what it is it's an extra town. It has extra features. I think it's nice, personally. Chuck some maps in. If you can afford to run them, you might get a random bit of junk. You might even get lucky. Okay? Chuck some things into the recombinator. Mostly junk. You might get a bit lucky. Um, smelt some stuff down so you can craft some enchants on. If that's your deal, you've got... I can't enchant mine because it's a corrupted bow, unique bow, but, you know, maybe you can chuck some stuff on. But I tell you, a lot of people won't have used a power rune. They're five div. Personally, I don't even... What's the point of me using a power rune? I can't enchant anything that's corrupted, and that's my build anyway. So, you know, that's kind of pointless. But what I'm trying to say is, like, it just... It's got to this point where... Everything is min-maxed. Everything's documented. And I know that's the exciting thing. I, I will look at it time to time. I hold my hand up. I don't pretend like it's a bad thing. But <clears throat> we got to cool it, right? We got to cool it a bit. Like, just casually saying, yo. Like, I, I, I remember um, I watched someone and he was saying the the chat room was going well, I don't really get taken over by many pirates you know I, I don't really see that fight very often and he was like what I get like six a day like I don't I don't believe that the you're not getting them like what are you doing and I'm thinking like me I looked at his live he's he'd been live 14 hours now granted I've just been live eight hours because it was Saturday right and that's not the point, you know, that you, you play as much as you want. I don't care. You enjoy your life. You get one life, enjoy it exactly how you want. But just realize like what's going on. Like, if you're playing for 14 hours and you're saying it's common because I get six pirates, bro, most people ain't doing that, mate. Um, you know, I, I would like to see a system where 
you know, maybe you could take your gold out so you don't waste your gold. I guess at the end of the night, if you don't want your guys running, you can remove them. But um, even when they're not mining, they're, they're making wage, you know. I, I guess that's, you know, that's how it works. But I, I guess my point of the video is I just fancy turning on the camera and just chucking up a casual video and just being like, look, the league's pretty fun. You can do some cool shit. You can get some enchants. Makes your stuff a bit more powerful. There's even some mega powerful enchants. When you play in the game, you can send off some small shipments and you might get something. You might not. They're just additions. You recombinate you might get something you might not, right? Your mappers, you might get something you might not. But when we're talking about like, this is exactly what you need to do to sustain 10 million dust. You know, people were saying, oh... T zero uniques can val can vendor for two million dust, and so I've been buying T zero uniques and da da da, and that it's like, bro, that is people ain't doing that. Like they'll say stuff like, "I'm sending off my shipments with equal dust," so I'll send off a million shipment with a million dust, and I'm sustaining the divines because what people I guess are doing are selling off, sending million shipment, million dust, vendor in a T zero unique or something million dust and then making back more divines etc there's tons of stuff you can probably do to like yeah gamify the system but that's not how most people are doing it right i mean i i bet if you ask in my comment section if anyone is in the comments how many tier 10 guys have you got and think about it these are the people watching poe so they're the hardcore players and they won't even have all tier 10s i think i've got like one tier 10 you, you, the people will be playing 24 7 with full tier 10s talking about like value and yada yada and it's like bro just just breathe man think of it as a nice positive extra right it doesn't it doesn't need to be like i've sent off 10 million dust and and goods and i didn't get anything re in return this mechanic sucks like it's I, I feel like it's not meant to be that it's not meant to be you send off x amount with x amount of dust you get good things enjoy your life I feel like it's meant to be a bit random. That's the whole point, right? Because if it's not a bit random, it's not very exciting. If I know I send off a million shipment with a million dust and get five divines every single time, that's not exciting, at least to me. Um, I, I like the RNG. I like thinking, oh, shit, I just found something cool. Or, oh, wow, I didn't... Like, anyway. What I'm trying to say is I'm enjoying the league. And I think the whole discussion about shipments and what you should send and yada yada is a little bit overblown. And most people are enjoying themselves and they're sending off some stuff and they're sending off random shit and they're getting random shit back and they're enjoying it. And it ain't that deep, bro.